Hello everyone. So in this video, uh, as you most of you are asking about the important questions of the subject uh, digital communication. So what I've done is I've analyzed few of the uh, pre uh, previous year question papers of different different schemes and I've uh, noted down few of the questions which were repeated many number of times. Okay. So in order to make your uh, to, in order to make you learn easy. So these uh, some materials have searched it and uh, I have provided some of the important questions which I have ticked it here like this. Okay. And those questions are multiple times repeated in all the previous year scheme question paper of this subject. Okay. So what I am going to do is one by one all the questions I am just going to uh, whatever I have ticked it right. I am just going to brush it up and I am going to tell you uh, how these questions are repeated and uh, it would be very helpful to you guys. Okay. So yeah. This video you should be sharing it to a huge number because this would be beneficial for many students I know and uh, I would like to say sorry because uh, I would I was not able to provide proper videos of this subject okay but uh, this video would be uh, you could be considering this as a kind of a passing package because I'm going to uh, uh, tell you the repeated questions okay so for different different schemes here so here we have one paper of 18 EC 61 okay the 2018 scheme let us see the questions which were repeated from module 1, the, the question is uh, 1a that is what are the applications of Hilbert transform and prove that the signal and its Hilbert transform are orthogonal. Okay, this is one question. Next is define pre-envelope of a real valued signal given a band pass signal s of t. You should be sketching the amplitude spectrum of the signal s of t, pre-envelope s plus of t and complex envelope. Okay, so here we have one more question uh, that is uh, derive the expression for the complex low pass representation of band pass systems. Uh, that is 2b which is repeated multiple times and from module 2 explain the geometric representation of a set of m energy signal as a linear combination of orthonormal basis functions illustrate the case n is equal to 2 and m is equal to 3 with necessary diagrams and expression okay so this one question is repeated next we have explained the correlation receiver using product integrator and matched field okay so yeah this question is also multiple times repeated in many previous year papers okay then one question is fixed. Okay, this one question is fixed related to Gram-Smith or orthogonalization. The way you should be finding the set of orthonormal basis function to represent the given signals. Okay, they would be giving you a number of signals. For that, you should be writing the se separate set of basis functions. Okay, this one question is fixed. Okay, this you could be completely telling that would be surely coming for 10 to 12 months. Okay, this question of Gram-Smith orthogonalization procedure. Okay. So you, this problem itself, well, you can see that this problem itself is right for all the papers. It's multiple times repeated, okay, with the same values. So this question, we should be learning a lot. So this uh, complete uh, uh, question paper solution would be available in the PDF description. All the previous year question paper along with the solutions, okay. All the solutions are also there here. Down you can see here. Uh, the solutions are provided here for all of them. You can refer it, okay. Yeah. So this was one paper. From module 3, uh, derive the expression for error probability of binary PSK using core and detection. This is multiple times repeated. Then we have explained the generation of uh, optimum detection of uh, DPSK with a neat diagram. Okay. And this one problem, a binary data is transmitted over a microwave link uh, uh, at the rate of 10 power 6 bits per second. At the, and the PSD noise at the receiver is 10 to the power minus 10 watts per hertz. Okay. So this question, one similar kind of question was there in model paper also. Uh, go through it. Then we have with a neat block diagram explain the non coherent detection of a binary frequency shift key and the 6b 6c. Okay, but wherever I put the tick mark right, those are very important ones. You should be learning that. Okay, and from module 4 and 5, uh, not so uh, important. Now let us see the next scheme that is 18 EC 61 set 2. Okay, in this, let us see which and all are the repeated. So here I'll see define Hilbert transform. HT stands for Hilbert transform. State and prove its properties and mention its applications. This is again multiple times repeated, which was repeated in the previous paper as well. Okay. Next is explain complex low pass representation of band pass systems. Then we have explained canonical representation of band pass signals. Very important. Then uh, the 3A explain Gram Smith orthogonalization procedure. Then uh, explain geometric representation of signals and exp express the signal in terms of signal vector. Very important. Okay. Then, you have, then we have explained matched filter receiver with the neat sketches and mathematical equations. Very important. Multiple times repeated. Explain the conversion of continuous AWG in channel into a vector channel. Again, very important. Describe the complex envelope of a band pass signal. Okay, this is very, very important. Okay, along with module 3 questions here, which are ticked here, you can uh, note it down. Okay. 
this was of 18 scheme. Uh, now let us see of 17 scheme. Okay. 17 scheme also, if you see that we have one question, one a state and explain Hilbert transform and its orthogonal property. So if you see that in most of the question papers, this question is repeated, that is of Hilbert transform. Okay. Then the, this question also derive the canonical representation of band pass signal. Okay. Then 2a. So this is not there in our syllabus, so this won't be coming. Okay, to a uh, uh, 2b question. See 2a. Derive the expression for complex low path representation of band pass system. See all this what wherever I've ticked right, all the questions are repeated in different different question paper schemes. Okay, yeah. Explain geometric representation of signals. Also show that energy of the signal is equal to the squared length of the vector. Okay, see this question is also repeated here. Okay, and one problem related to Gram-Smith orthogonalization procedure also is there here. You can note it down. So this uh, is there uh, along with the solution. This uh, whole paper is solved. Okay, you can uh, access it through the uh, video's description. In the description, this would be available. Okay, please go and access it, access through it. Uh, see here, module three also wherever I've ticked it right, all those them are very important ones. Okay. Next, one more set of seventeen EC sixty one uh, scheme digital communication again. Define Hilbert transform state properties of it. See, this question is multiple times repeated here with proof. I'm showing it. Then we have a proof that signal G of T and its Hilbert transform G N of T are orthogonal over the entire time interval. Very important one. Then we have explained canonical representation of band pass signal. See, multiple times repeated here. And like this one question would be coming where they would be giving you the input signals X of T. For that, you should be obtaining the Hilbert transform. Okay, like this, the question would be appearing for five marks. Then again, 3a from module 2 explain a geometric representation of set of over a linear combination of orthonormal basis functions. Illustrate for the case n is equal to 3, 2 and m is equal to 3 with the necessary diagram and expressions. Very important. Explain with neat diagram matched filter receiver. Correlation and matched filter receiver are very important ones. See here, multiple times they are repeated here. Okay. Ex uh, then we have from module 3 what we are having. Obtain the expression for average probability of symbol error. For BPSK using coherent detection, derive an expression for probability of error of BFSK. Okay. And from module 4 and 5, also you can see the questions here. Okay. Next, we have one more of 15 scheme. Okay. 15 EC61 here. So see here from module 1, the question is with an E diagram explain canonical representation of band pass signal. So this question is there, right? Canonical representation of band pass signal. You might be, you can expect this question for in the, in our question paper, because you can see in most of the question papers, this question is repeated. Okay. And this one question also would be coming for five to six marks, as I've told you of obtaining the Hilbert transform of the following set of equations. Okay. Then, uh, explain complex representation of band pass signals. Again, very important and, uh, write a short note. Uh, this is not there. So here, see here, gram smith orthogonalization, the same question was repeated in the previous paper also, which I have discussed, okay, with the same values. So this question is there. Also in the model paper, this question is there. So please go through it. Very important. You can, you should be learning this question specially, okay, for 10 to 12 marks, this will be coming. See here again, explain matched filter receiver with mathematical expression, okay, then geometric representation of signals. And from module 3, we are having some of the questions here, go through it module 4 and 5 please go through it okay again here also we are having some important set of questions which i have ticked here whichever i have ticked all those questions are very important okay so like this we have discussed the whole uh, uh, five to six sets of different different question papers of uh, 18 scheme 17 scheme 15 scheme uh, for a sixth semester uh, this subject was in sixth semester now it has shifted it to fifth semester okay I have analyzed all the question papers here and I have uh, come with an important set of questions from module 1, 2, 3 and module 4, 5 also whichever questions are mentioned here, go through it, compare it with the model papers. You only try to, uh, 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 that is you should be uh, analyzing all these papers and try to come up with some important set of questions by your own and try to learn all of them because the exams are near and you should be studying like this, you know, if you want to pass. Okay. So that's all for this video guys, uh, please do watch this video, share this video to a huge number because this is a kind of a passing package where I've analyzed previous year papers and uh, uh, come, uh, I've brought up with uh, some important set of questions here, okay, whichever I've ticked it right, very important ones, go through it, okay.
please like this video share this video to a huge number and subscribe to our channel and keep supporting okay thank you